Hey there, Firefighter Capretta. Today, let's talk about progression. Welcome back. And today we're gonna to talk about stresses and what I've been uh, doing lately. So lately I've been talking to doctors and trying to get a the, the primary like uh, feedback of what I have going on, right? So I have this aortic aneurysm. Uh, who's your best advocate? You are. I want you guys to be your best advocate, right? So to be your best advocate, you have to look for yourself. Look for the best lawyers, look for the best doctors, look for the best uh, drugs, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, even alcohol. But anyway, um, find things that are gonna work for you to, to aid you, right? So get your support, get your friends, get your family. Uh, your kids. Support would be also like, um, you know, how to meditate and relax. Uh, also, put yourself at ease to all this stress, right? So it's been like December 29th when this all went down with me. Uh, that being said, December 29th, it's uh, now like February 9th. So I've had quite a few days of like crazy anxiety and stress talked to multiple doctors. I'm a Kaiser member. I've talked to multiple doctors about like what I should do for my anxiety, my stress, my level of like angst and worry, right? Um, I've, I've had a therapist. I've had uh, multiple doctors, workers' comp doctors. I've had my primary doctor. I have my thoracic surgeon. I have my cardiologist. And my second opinion I already talked to a little bit with is a cardiologist in San Francisco. Um, but here's the thing. Um, they're like all worried about giving you certain things so you can, you can sleep better. Well, um, personally, I don't think that's very fair. So I've been uh, on the boat of taking like, I've, I've done melatonin, doesn't work. I've done magnesium, um, it works. They gave me lisinopril for like blood pressure. Uh, reduction to reduce. Um, this is my second day of doing lisinopril for a reduction. It's 2.5 milligrams. Uh, last night actually has been my first night in like 30 days that I've actually slept pretty good. So I've taken that 2.5 milligrams of lisinopril with magnesium. This is not going to work for everybody, but but it worked for me. I, uh, I actually had a couple glasses of wine earlier and uh, <laughs> It's like, I need to ease my stress, right? Like my stress is through the roof. I would say wine or anything like that is good to have, but I did that and I took uh, my lisinopril and then I've, I've taken some magnesium and actually I slept uh, exceptionally well last night. I, I tracked my sleep on my, my garment. There we go. And uh, my sleep has been, last night, uh, REM sleep has been pretty good. It's been like an hour and like 20 minutes. That's like the best it's been this whole time. Most of the time my REM sleep, if you follow REM sleep, has been like eight minutes, like eight minutes. My deep sleep's been like nothing more than 30 minutes. My light sleep's been like like six hours or something like that. But I go to bed like at eight o'clock at night. So 8.30. So, um, so far, not to say that like concoction of a mix is like recommended but like consult with your people and everything else and try to figure out what works best for you. Today, like, so I emailed my like five doctors I talked to. I talked to a therapist. I talked to my primary. I talked to my cardiologist, right? Talked to my um, workers comp doctor. Um, let's see. And then like crazy enough, my primary is not in the office. So some rando called me back or emailed me back saying like, uh, I can't support you taking like ambient, right? Some like sleep aids. And so immediately when I sent this email out, I was furious and I'm like, well, read my chart guy. Yeah, read my chart. And, uh, and so, cause the person just didn't read my chart. They're thinking like, this person wants to take something for sleep just because they want to take it. Well, um, sometimes you have to be the best advocate you can be. So I told them like, look at my, my chart, what's going on. I have an aortic aneurysm. It's ascending, it's five centimeters, it's big. I'm, I'm scheduled for surgery, but no surgery date right now. It's gonna be like March. 
And uh, so my worker's comp doctor said, no, I can't prescribe it to you. It's like a liability issue. It's, it's annoying, right? But nice guy, right? And then I asked my, uh, my thoracic surgeon before, actually before that, said, hey, we're surgeons, we don't do that, which I understand. Uh, then I asked my cardiologist, uh, it's like, no, no response. Uh, then I asked my primary, who's not in the office, that guy responded back, like, I don't do it. The therapist said, uh, they actually referred to a therapist. Therapist said that, hey, uh, yeah, I don't do it. Uh, contact your thoracic surgeon or surgeon and your primary. So it was a runaround. It was a runaround of like all these guys like, telling me what to do, right? Going back to the same person, right? And I'm like, look, like I need something right now. I can't sleep. Sleep is essential. I need sleep and I'm going crazy, so please help me out, right? So they finally agreed upon giving me Ambient, or like, like a form of it, like a, a derivative, like a generic. So it's okay. But the thing is, uh, maybe I'll take it tonight, I don't know, they, uh, uh, they recommended just half, half of it. Um, uh, just a heads up is like the fact that like being your best advocate, being the person out there, Doing the homework and, and footwork, you have to do it. You have to focus on it, right? Look at what you need to do to, to protect yourself and, and dedicate all this to do it so you could actually succeed. So like my biggest concern, obviously talking about it from the beginning is like being there for my children, being there for my, my oldest, my middle and my future youngest. So. Um, like I'm a 45 year old guy. I know I'm healthy. I've always been fit and healthy. Uh, I, I feel like I will get past this, but I'm very uh, concerned, stressed, emotionally, like just drained. And, and you guys will get past this too. So be positive. Uh, you know, if, if one doctor doesn't say, oh, I'm gonna give this to you, keep messaging multiple people within your network. Mine happens to be Kaiser. Uh, there's nothing negative about it. All, all uh, facilities are, are similar. So just, um, you know, be the person that's going to support you best. Nobody else is going to support you the way you can. So focus on, like, research, uh, writing these emails, being, like, positive in your emails. Don't, don't say anything that's, like, that could be you know, angry, right? When I talk to you about like saying, hey guy, you know, like look at my chart. Uh, yeah, it was kind of like that, but I said it very like, try to be politically correct. So, you know, um, I think people just, they, they sometimes people don't empathize, they don't sympathize, they don't really understand the, the situation you're in, right? And the situation you're in, uh, that I'm in, it's, it's extremely overwhelming. So, uh, Teach and everybody out there, uh, again, thanks for watching. This is Firefighter Kai Ferrata. I'll keep you updated. Uh, I know I wear the same type of clothes every day. Um, my wardrobe, I leave it to my wife. She's the one that wears a lot of fancy clothes. I am just a firefighter that likes to be comfortable. So uh, thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day. Uh, email me below, message me below. Thanks for watching. Uh, talk to you later.